Hello everyone, VJZ13 back again with another deck review. Today we're looking at the Alice in Wonderland deck from Will Warrior at PlayingCardDecks.com. This was designed by Sasa Dunavsky, I believe was her name. She previously had it on Indiegogo, it didn't do too well. He obviously communicated with her and they paired up and he produced it and promoted it and here we are. And he sent me this as a free deck, so I want to say special thanks to Will Warrior for sending me this deck to review. I appreciate it. Um, let's get into it. Always inspired by Alice in Wonderland. This is playing cards, Alice in Wonderland on the front. With this nice image of a couple of weird animals. <laughs> it says, we're all mad here. And I'm trying to find out... Um, Yes, okay, this is the Griffin and the Mock Turtle holding the Wonderland coat of arms on the tuck case, I believe it is. On one side it says, I get what I like. I wish that was the case. And I like what I get. Sometimes that's the case. <laughs> on the top, you see a flower and some vines. On the bottom, PlayingCardDex.com logo and illustrated by Sasa. Dunevsky. Oh, I didn't realize her name was on there. <laughs> uh, anyways, the back, you see the back design, which features the, the garden uh, that Alice wanted to get so much from. With some fountains and all sorts of stuff. Kind of a maze. Some locked doors. It's pretty cool. That's your back design. There is a smile on there on the flap. It says, begin at the beginning. And go on until you come to the end, then stop. We'll do that. <laughs> we'll go for the deck, and then we'll stop, more or less. Um, you get a couple of flowers on these flaps. The inside of the tuck case features Alice facing the rabbit's hole. You see her upside down facing the rabbit's hole. All sorts of stuff going on in there. Beautifully designed. It's even got this repetitive pattern right at the very bottom. Huh? Which you probably can't see unfortunately due to the lighting. As I mentioned, the tuck case is on a linen finish, linen stock, which is very nice. Now, uh, apparently there was supposed to be a matte tuck case, but it's just it's an embossed tuck case. I guess that was a stretch goal, or maybe the other one is a stretch goal. I don't know. <laughs> the Jokers. This one is a magical mixture that says drink me. Some keys in the corner. And this one is a cake that says eat me. The back design, by the way, it seems a little bit thick around the borders, but that's just the way it is with the design in the artwork. It's a nice, fun little back design. <clears throat> and then you get these cards here, which features the White Rabbit's house. And Alice looks like she's all tangled up in it. And the final scene, I guess in the book, with her playing with a deck of cards, which is ever so fitting. It actually looks like an NLC deck of cards, which I'm surprised Alex Madre didn't say anything about. Alice, of course, there's some permission in there, which there could have been. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, actually, sorry, that's the final scene in the court, is what it is, which makes sense. The Ace of Spades. Uh, I apologize, I just, I've got lots of information, I want to make sure I cover everything. I didn't write anything for the Aces. The Ace of Spades, you see her kind of peeking up through this hole. And it says, Alice in Wonderland, Lewis Carroll. Blue pips for the Spades and Clubs on the Aces. Red for the hearts and dying. This one says the Queen's Croquet Ground. It's just different scenes from the book. This one's got a vine. This one's got a flower. And there's also a number indicating the scene, I believe. That's what it is. This one is uh, Pig and Pepper. And you see a pepper. And this one is a Mad Tea Party, number seven. Pretty cool. Fun aces that fit the theme. I do think the indexes could have been down closer to the corner just a little bit, but that's just a minor thing. 
And then we get to the court cards. The Zack of Clubs here is, I still put this in order, the Fifth Footman. This obviously is the King of Hearts. The Queen of Spades here is the Caterpillar. The Jack of Diamonds is the Mad Hare. The King of Spades is the Chestile Cat. The Queen of Hearts is obviously the Queen of Hearts. Simple enough. The Jack of Spades is the Dodo. The Queen of Diamonds is the Dormouse. King of Clubs is the Duchess. The Jack of Hearts is the White Rabbit. Simple enough, I think. <laughs> the uh, Queen of Clubs is the Cook. The King of Diamonds is the Mad Hatter. And then that's that. The number cards, nice modified pips. Each suit has its own little thing. This has the pepper. It's got the flowers, has the vine, and this has the watch. Printed on a beef stock with Eric and Finnis. So it handles good. It looks pretty cool. And you know, I wasn't too sold on these at first. And maybe it's not necessarily my cup of tea in the artwork, but I like it. It's well done. And I'm going to say... Probably one of the nicer Alice in Wonderland decks. Though I still think uh, the ones from Juan Solazano a couple of years back were pretty nice. It was the same. The printing had to change to Carter Mundi back then. Carter Mundi wasn't as good as now. Um, and those ones, I believe, have been now printed by Liberty Playing Cards more recently. The artwork is great on those. This one, though, is obviously very nice and fits uh, the theme very well. And I'm going to say a 10 out of 10 for this. Highly recommend checking out PlayingCardDecks.com. Comment, rate, subscribe. Special thanks once again to Will Roy for sending me this deck. We'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.